Good morning, Mountainside friends. Hey, this is our last video. And I was trying to think of what to do and I thought there's no better place I'd rather be than the place you and I love, our school. So I came here to film our last video today. So come on in and join me. So here we are at Mountainside Preschool. I loved getting our smiling faces out of the car every morning. And some of you came in to play upstairs and some of you came in to play downstairs. And I love seeing your smiling faces. And I'm sad that we don't get to finish out the year like we wanted to. But you know what? It's okay to be sad. And I was sad about not finishing the year. But I thought, you know what? Even in sad times, there are always things that we can be happy about and things that we can be thankful for. So I thought I'd walk through today and talk about what I'm sad about and what we can be thankful for. So I'm sad we didn't get to finish playing with our um, motor room toys, but I'm so thankful that even though you were scared maybe at the beginning of the year, that you grew strong and confident and enjoyed playing with your friends. Here was one of my favorite places to be, and though I'm sad that we can't have any more Bible times, I'm so thankful for all the fun times we had in Bible. I'm thankful for all the songs that we got to learn and the stories we got to hear. I'm so thankful that we got to hear about God's love and how much God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us and that he didn't stay dead, that he rose again and he's living in heaven. I'm so thankful that we got to hear about how much God loves us and to sing songs like this one. All right, this is a song we learned a long time ago, but it's called Rock of My Soul. Stand up and sing with me, because remember, we gotta jump down, turn around, praise Jesus. That's one of the things I love doing together, was praising Jesus with you. So do it again with me for the last time together today. Nothing can take him away. You know, you might say, he's the rock of my soul. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God my soul. Sing it with me. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Oh, rock of my soul. Ready? Here we go. Jump down, turn around, praise Jesus. Jump down, turn around, praise God. Jump down, turn around, praise Jesus. Jump down, turn around, praise God. I love to praise Jesus. I love to praise God. I love to praise Jesus. I love to praise God. Jump down, turn around, praise Jesus. Jump down, turn around, praise God. Jump down, turn around, praise Jesus. Jump down, turn around, praise God. I love to praise Jesus. I love to praise God. I love to praise Jesus. I love to praise God. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Rock of my soul, what a wonderful God we have. Oh, rock of my soul. Rock of my soul. Are you singing with me? Did you get it? Good job. I love playground time, whether we were inside or outside. It was so much fun. It's so much fun to pull out the balls and the scooters and the trampolines or go outside and play on the... On the swings or on the slide. It was just fun to play and be with friends. I'm so thankful that you got to make so many great friends at preschool. I'm sad that we won't get to play in one of our favorite rooms, our motor room, and one of the favorite things of preschool is eating snack. Well, you can eat snack at home, but aren't you glad that we had a chance to eat snack together and play together with our friends? We learned to say please and thank you and try new foods, and we learned to play with toys and share and take turns. I'm so thankful that we had fun in this room together. 
I love the alphabet room. I'm so thankful for the alphabet room and that you big kids could come in here this year and learn all of your letters. It was so fun to make our alphabet books and to cut and, and draw and glue and do our centers. One of our favorite rooms, wasn't it? I'm so thankful. Even though I'm sad we didn't get to finish our alphabet book, I'm so thankful that we had so much fun in here together. And you guys learned all your letters. Let's see if we can remember them. All right, let's see. I know you know the letter name, so let's practice our letter sounds. Our last time, show me you have learned so much in pre-K. Let's do the sounds of the letters. Ready? Do them with me. A, B, K, D, E, G, I. Ready? Letter J. J. can start to read. Great job. Here we are at art. Remember, this was one of my favorite things and I'm so sad that we won't be able to do more art projects together and play and paint and color, but I'm so thankful for all the fun things that we made, all the amazing crafts that we made, and the fun that we had playing with all these toys. And last but not least, circle time. We love circle time, didn't we? There were so many reasons we love circle time. And I'm sad that some of you didn't get to do your last preschooler of the day. And I'm sad that we didn't get to do some of these fun activities. But I'm so happy and thankful for all the fun things we got to see in this room. All the fun things that were shared on our preschooler of the day chair. All the colors and activities that we learned all our shapes and our numbers that we learn. I'm so thankful for that. Let's review our shapes before we go, just to make sure you know all of them. This one is a square, good job. This one is a rectangle, looks like a door, remember that? This is a circle, that one's easy. Remember this one? It's a triangle, sometimes looks like a party hat. Good job. This is a star. Right? We have a oval. Remember, it looks like a little bit of a squished circle, kind of like an egg. We have our diamond or our rhombus. And we have our octagon. Remember, it looks like a stop sign. Remember, stop. Octagon has eight sides. Great job. You guys did great. We also had a great time reading lots of books together, didn't we? Like this book. This book is called Hello Summer. Even though we're saying goodbye to school, we get to say hello to something fun, summer. Summertime is almost here. Spring green leaves grow bigger and turn greener. The days are getting warmer and longer. The sun is strong and hot. We wear hats, sunglasses, and sunblock. We go barefoot in the grass. Fluffy white clouds dot deep blue skies. And then it's the longest day of the year and the first day of summer, the summer solstice. We're hot and thirsty. We drink lemonade and lots of water and eat watermelon, ice cream, and popsicles. Those are some of my favorite things to eat in the summer. Sometimes dark clouds move in and there's a thunderstorm. And then it's cooler after the rain. And what sometimes shows up in the sky after the rain? A rainbow. Remember how we read about how God made the rainbow? Water and sun help our gardens grow and flowers bloom. Look at those big sunflowers, aren't they pretty? Bees collect pollen, butterflies sip nectar, dragonflies land, fireflies flash in the early night sky. We celebrate summer with fireworks, picnics, and barbecues. Usually we have fireworks on July 4th, don't we? Berries ripen and are ready to eat. Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries, plums, and peaches too. Look at all those colors. They can eat the rainbow, can't they, with all those different colors? 
We play outside in parks and playgrounds and go to county fairs. We go to the beach, seagulls soar, crabs creep, waves crash. We jump and surf, dig and build, and we find treasures. The beach is one of my favorite places in the summer. We cool down in sprinklers and at water parks. We swim and float in pools and explore ponds. Water is fun in the summer, isn't it? Ducks dive for food, salamanders crawl, turtles sit and sit and sun and frogs leap. In summer, animals need to eat a lot to grow. We enjoy nature, we fish and camp, boat and bike, or just relax. We talked about camping this week, didn't we? In late summer, the days get shorter and the nights cooler, the leaves start to turn different colors, and then autumn is here. And when that happens, we'll be back in school again. That is called Hello Summer. I'm sad that we don't get to finish our year at school, but I'm thankful that we got to do some home videos with my dog Chewy, right? Those were fun, and it was fun to Zoom with you every week. We miss you, and we're sad that we have to say goodbye this way, but all our teachers love you, and they want to say goodbye too. I'm glad we were your teachers. We've come to love you so. We can't believe the end is here. We hate to see you go. We've watched you learn and grow. And change from day to day. We hope that all the things we've done have helped in some small way with great hope and expectations for what next year has in store. So it's with happy memories that we send you out the door. Remember all the fun we had and all the things we did. But most of all, remember, you're a very special kid. We hope you know that your mountainside staff love you very much. And even though we can't hug you like we want to, or say goodbye like we had hoped to, we are so thankful for an amazing year that we had together and that you were part of our Mountainside family. Preschool, we can't wait to see you back again next year and we'll give you big hugs when we see you again. Pre-K, we hope you do have a great time in kindergarten and please stop by and say hi when you have a chance. Thanks everyone, have a great year and we hope to see you at our drive-by pickup party. Have a great day, love you all. Goodbye, 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 friends. Goodbye, 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 friends. It's time to say goodbye. But first, walk, walk, walk. Jump, jump, jump. Run, run, run. Stop. Hop, hop, hop. Swim, swim, swim. Dance, dance, dance. Stop! Goodbye, 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 friends. Goodbye, 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 friends. It's time to say.